Hey guys, so here at Friction CrossFit, we have three different tracks that we work with within our programming. Uh, we have competitive, recreational, and lifestyle. So competitive uh, is for those athletes who are relatively experienced with CrossFit, think like three to five years, and they know their way around the box. They know every movement, and they can perform them well. And then recreational is more of, I just kind of do CrossFit as a hobby, and I just like to be generally fit. I'm not looking to necessarily like, go to sanctionals or go to the games or whatever. I just come in here and have a great time and get a little bit better every day. And then lifestyle is more of, I'm just starting CrossFit, kind of getting my bearings. Uh, and those athletes who are usually above the age of like 55 to 60, kind of our master's athletes. So for instance, we have uh, a workout that we did last week. Uh, it was one all the way up to 10 of burpee box jumps, uh, 24 and 20 inches. And then between each set was a 50 foot handstand walk. So that was the competitive track. Those who can handstand and walk well probably would do this one on broken, where they would walk down 25 feet, turn around without coming down, and then come back. For recreational, it was a 30 second handstand wall hold after your burpee box jumps. So that's for someone who's just getting used to kind of kicking upside down, being able to hold it. Maybe they toe off the wall just a little bit to hold the freestanding but it's still challenging to them. And then lifestyle uh, was a burpee box step up to the same height. They're not really used to jumping. They're not comfortable. Maybe they'll miss the box. They step up to still get that cardio and gymnastics effect. Uh, and then they have a 50 foot bear crawl. So they're still loading the shoulders in some way to move down and back to that 50 feet. So these are the different tracks that we use. We use this almost with every workout unless we program a workout that everyone can do at the same scale. And then we also put the stimulus uh, and then the initials to see who programmed it. But with stimulus, we are trying to give the athletes uh, what they should feel during the workout and how they should approach it, whether fast, slow, methodical, whatever it may be. So when you come in, you have three different tracks and a stimulus to go off of to make sure that you get the best experience in that hour.